Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me in today's video. Here we're going to talk about Harbor Freight Torque Wrench, the cheap one, the $10 one I think it is, the Pittsburgh Pro or whatever it is. You guys know which one I'm talking about, half inch, so stay tuned. So before we begin uh, the discussion on this here video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, what this Harbor Freight here torque wrench actually is putting out as far as um, torque. So real quick, before we get into that, I do want to say that I'm a big fan of Harbor Freight. I really like the, some of their products. Uh, they've came a long way with their tools. The Icon tools are great. The Pittsburgh Pro tools are great. Everything comes with a lifetime warranty. Um, their, their welders, their new welders, the titaniums are great. There's a lot of really good stuff, especially if you guys are into like budget power tools. So I recommend the products. Those are good, but there's some things that you guys shouldn't buy from Harbor Freight. And I'm going to go over it here. This right here used to be my go-to. I like, I like this thing. I used it for years and it was cheap and if it ever broke you know you just go in there and they give you a brand new one no no hassle so since then i've upgraded my torque wrenches to digital this is a craftsman here this is a 3 8 and i have a um, 3 8 to half inch adapter on the uh, end there and this right here will go from four and a half foot pounds all the way to i believe 80 foot pounds and also, for my half inch, I have the Quinn Digital Torque Wrench from Harbor Freight. This is a very, very good torque wrench. It's calibrated, it's pretty accurate. So it does angle as well. This thing has a ton of features, really good quality torque wrench. So the reason for this video is because, I think it was the last video, I had said that when I was taking the head studs off the car to take the head off, they didn't feel quite like the 80 foot pounds or whatever ARP recommends for the head studs on the V series. Somewhere close to there, but when I was taking them off, they just did not feel like that. They felt loose. Not loose like finger tight, they just didn't have the breakaway. Some of them did, some of them didn't. So the head gasket blew on the car almost immediately. The car still made good power despite having a blown head gasket, so that's good news. Um, so my suspect was the Harbor Freight $10 torque wrench. Guys, if you guys are gonna do technical work, do not settle for this cheap torque wrench. Go spend the extra money and get yourself a reputable digital one. There's tons of videos on YouTube uh, where guys actually demonstrate scientifically these torque wrenches and stuff like that and can give you guys all the specs and, and everything and all the details on those. But just don't, 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 don't use this this right here is probably going to end up being a breaker bar okay so right here in my little vise that i have here um, clamped down to the table i have my other quinn digital torque meter right here and this right here uh i think this one only goes up to 150 foot pounds the other quinn here the big guy this one will go to 250 foot pounds so from 12 and a half foot pounds to 250 foot pounds this one only goes to 150, but I'm going to use this right here to check the calibration on the cheapy Harbor Freight torque wrench. Okay, so this is a small vise. I'm not going ham on this thing. So what I will do is I'll test it at, we'll do a couple different tests. We'll test it at 20 foot pounds. We'll set this to 20 and then we'll check it with both my other digital torque wrenches to make sure it's right. And then we'll test it with this and see where this one breaks at. Okay, so it's set to 20 foot pounds. It's probably gonna read backwards on here. I don't know, I have the camera on selfie mode. I might be able to flip it in the video editing so that way it reads correct to you guys. But we are on 20 foot pounds there. So now I'm gonna take my Craftsman digital torque wrench and I'm gonna set this one to 20 foot pounds. And I'll show you guys.
Okay, so that is a 20.00 right there. And we're gonna check it. So this craftsman here, it'll once it gets to the torque it's supposed to be at, it'll click. And this right here is gonna light up, it's gonna flash, and then it's gonna make a sound. And when it holds a solid sound, that's how you know that you're there. So let's go in and give this a shot. Okay, this one is reading 19.75 foot-pounds when it breaks. And I'll have to watch the video to see what this one's reading because it's backwards for me. So we're, we're right there, just about there at 20 foot pounds on this one. So I'll take this out. And now I'm gonna get the Quinn and we're gonna check it with the Quinn, the half inch. So I'm gonna set this one to 20 foot pounds and I'll show you guys on the camera. So that's 20 foot pounds. Now we're gonna check it. Again, this one's gonna actually beep. So we're gonna be listening for two beeps. We're gonna be listening from a beep from this one and a beep from this one. I'm getting 20.9 on this one. And you see how this one's lighting up red? That means it's at the torque spec that it's supposed to be. They're both holding solid right now. So we know that it's reading. There's no way that these two different brands are gonna read way off. So we know it's accurate. Now we have the Harbor Freight torque wrench and we're gonna set this one to 20 foot pounds. And lock that into place. Try to keep it on that 20. 20 is very low for this here torque wrench show you guys here come on camera all right you guys will have to just trust me it's on 20. okay so now i'm just going to barely put any pressure this one you're not going to hear a clip that it's not going to be a very audible clip just because it's low quality but right there see i'm already i'm already moving it and the light hasn't even begun to, to the torque hasn't even begun to change on this one. See that? That's at 20 foot pounds on here. That's what it's saying 20 foot pounds is. So, now that we know that this is reading accurate, we're gonna, we're gonna bump it up to, let's do 30 foot pounds. Okay. We're at 30 foot pounds. I believe you guys can see that there. And I'm going to change this to 30 foot pounds. Okay. Thirty foot pounds on here. And look, we have we have movement already. Still hasn't even budged this. Now let's put some pressure on it. Now it's going on. So this Harbor Freight is saying that it's at 30 foot pounds. When this light hasn't even gone off yet to show that it's at 30 foot pounds. Let's bump it up to 50. Okay, so we're at 50 foot pounds there. And before we test out the Harbor Freight cheap one, the $10 wrench, we'll check it with the Quinn real quick. So we're gonna check to see if this is at, this is at 50 and we're gonna check to see if this is gonna read 50 as well. So let's go on and change, change the torque on here.
okay 50 and let's see if these both beep simultaneously okay holding it from the proper side of the handle We got a solid beep from here and a solid beep from here at 50, I pushed it to 51.6. I might have just overdid a little bit, but either way, 50 and 50 pretty much. Okay. So now let's set this one up to 50 foot pounds and see where it breaks. Okay. We are at the number 50 and we're at zero here. So we're at 50 foot pounds on this on this here torque wrench. I'm gonna pull towards me this time, just because it'll be a little bit easier for me, okay? So pay attention to this number and listen for the click of this here torque wrench. That wasn't a click. You hear that click? That's the torque right there. Saying it's at 50 foot pounds. What, do we, what does it say on there? 30, 33 foot pounds, guys. Let's, let's let it reset and try it again. We'll turn it off and turn it back on. Okay, it's still at 30 foot pounds. Pay attention to this. Let's see what the number reads when you hear this torque wrench click. Thirty-two foot pounds, I believe it said. So guys, if I set this torque wrench to let's just say for the ARP head studs, don't quote me on it. I don't remember at the moment. Let's say we're gonna to torque the headsets to 80 foot pounds. Obviously it has to be done in sequence, we all know this. But the final sequence is 80 foot pounds. I set this to 80 foot pounds. What do you think it's gonna read? It's probably gonna read at like 55 foot pounds. That's the torque output it's gonna put. It's gonna tell you it's at 80, but really it's torquing it to like 55 to 60 foot pounds. Because we see that we set this here to 50 foot pounds and then we set this to 50 foot pounds but this is clicking at 32 foot pounds so what is that like 30 percent off that's a lot that is a lot so guys i just want to make this video here to raise awareness that if you guys are out trying to buy one of these because you're on a budget don't use this one for critical engine work okay don't just don't i wouldn't even buy it honestly i would not even buy it this cost me, you know, some money on my car. So, you know, now I gotta kinda go back into there and replace that gasket, whatever. But guys, don't get this one from Harbor Freight, all right? Harbor Freight's got other good torque wrenches. They got the Icon, it's really good. They got this here, Quinn, digital torque wrench, which I highly recommend. They got this one right here. This is like 30 bucks if you guys don't wanna spend the 170 for this one. Um, you can get this one for like 30 bucks and put this one on a, on a breaker bar and this one will work just fine for you. So guys, if you guys liked the video, if you guys found that it was helpful, please hit the thumbs up, share it if you want, leave me a comment, let me know what you guys' thoughts and opinions are. I always appreciate you guys taking time to watch my videos and leave some positive feedback. I love you guys. I have nothing to gain from this type of video. I'm just trying to give you guys a heads up, man, because I wish I would have known that before. I wouldn't have used it. I would have just want something else now i also have a different floor wrench with the needle on it um i did use that one on my rod bearing so i know my rod bearings are good uh i use this one on the head studs so guys if you guys like the video hit the thumbs up man and i'll see you guys in the next one peace